Everyone, a busy newscast ahead. I'm Tim Elliott. Great to have Elizabeth Wattis on the show today. Elizabeth, the sound of chainsaws oh, yeah. filling the air in southern Wisconsin today. Busy, busy yep. day for crews out and about, for homeowners as well. We have team coverage we'll get to in just a minute. Meteorologist Charlie Shortino, WMTV's Phoebe Murray. But first, we have WMTV's Brooklyn Andres taking a live look at some of that damage. Brooklyn, you're hearing from some people now, right, in Madison. Yeah, hey, Elizabeth and Tim, we've been here all morning long. We're on Lucy Lane right now, and I just spoke with a couple neighbors who actually are recalling the seconds that this happened last night. All of a sudden, uh, the winds picked up on the spur of the moment in about 30 seconds. It got very loud, and I heard some noises, but I wasn't sure what it was. And then when I looked outside, I saw the branches down and then the big branch on our roof up there and it did a lot of damage to the gutters. Yeah. So it ha happened within 30 seconds, very yeah. quick. And it doesn't look like the city of Madison has been to Lucy Lane yet to take care of this blockage. And you can see kind of an unfortunate place for that car to be parked this morning as a massive tree branch has smashed the front window, clearly dented the front end of the car. Um, but after speaking with those neighbors, they say that their power is restored about an hour and a half ago now. So it's looking up. Um, it's coming slowly, slowly but surely. And I know MG&E and Align Energy is um, cautioning people to be patient about that. Phoebe will have more on those power outages coming up but as you leave your house today just be cautious there is still lots of debris to be taken care of and be neighborly we've been seeing it all day people helping other people clean up their yards maybe some of those elderly that can't do it themselves um, so just keep that in mind on a day like today it's a perfect day out there to get up and clean up after last night's storm so i'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now live in madison brooklyn andrews wmtv 15 news those limbs on the ground where are they going We'll show you. We're taking a live look right now at the Madison Streets Department site on East Olin Avenue. Look at all that debris. We're told many of the downed trees are being sent right here where the Streets Department's main chipper will chop up those larger trees. You see that mulch they're making back there. This site is actually closed to the public right now, but it will open to the public so you can bring your fallen trees and debris from 3 until 7 this afternoon. They'll be working all day long.